Hi everyone, my name is Deep Patadia. Today's talk for mechanical ventilation, we'll be talking about the baseline phase. Now we've talked about the trigger phase, the target phase, and the cycle phase. Now we're going to talk about the baseline phase. And the definition is quite straightforward. It is the airway pressure during expiration. Now up to this point, the first three variables we talked about, trigger, target, and cycle, were during inspiration. The well, baseline phase is the only variable that's during expiration. Out of the four variables, it's probably the easiest one to conceptualize and understand, but it is also, in my opinion, the most neglected of the four when reading ventilator waveforms. So the reason why it's important is it reflects your PEEP or your positive end expiratory pressure. Taking a look here, we can see that the PEEP here is five. Again, this green line designates inhalation, and this yellow phase is exhalation. Remember that inhalation with a mechanical ventilator is a very active process. The ventilator is forcing positive pressure into the lung circuit. However, exhalation is a very passive process. And the exhalation essentially depends on the chest wall and lung recoil to fully exhale all the inhaled air. When assessing the exhalation phase on a ventilator, there's a few things you wanna keep in mind. One thing you wanna take note is during the exhalation phase, you watch the flow and you want the flow to reach zero before the next breath is triggered. If you have a situation where the, the flow does not reach zero before the next breath is triggered, you run the risk of having excess volumes in the lung. And over time, this volume will get compounded and you will get auto peeping, dynamic hyperinflation. And as a result, the pressures inside the lung will increase. So take note of the exhalation phase when assessing the mechanics of the ventilator. If you're concerned about auto peeping, uh, you can do an expiratory hold to see what the intrinsic PEEP is. That's it for the baseline variable. Join us in the next video where we'll recap all four variables and we'll do some quick practice problems to reinforce and strengthen everything we've done thus far. Thanks.